we're going to install the BMS with it to the two batteries that are in the cabinet. We're going to literally put it in the top shelf. Like that. We are then going to take our battery cable for the negative, which is this blue cable over here. You'll see once again it's labelled. As we've shown you before, it's got battery 2 minus, this being battery 2 down here. We're going to connect it onto that connector there. The other side is marked BMS B minus, which is this position on the BMS over here. So let's do that. Also, you'll note that we're busy putting it in the cable tray on the side of the cabinet. To tie into the BMS, you're going to open the cover. It's a protection cover to stop anything sparking against that. You're going to use a big star screwdriver. You can see my uh, apprentice is holding this end so that it doesn't touch anywhere. It's just for safety. We are then opening up the screw. Uh, you'd ask your uh, the guy to hold it for you as well because it's quite slippery. And then basically we'll install that. Like that. Just make sure when you're turning it in that you don't cross thread. So it goes in easily like it's going in now. Once you've Firmly tightened it, you can close the lid again. We have now connected the negative to the, to the BMS. Now we're going to do the communication cables, these four ports here, to these two, plus those two there. So we'll start off, the cable is marked um, ACB1, and the other side is also marked ACB1. So we'll put it in on the first port over there, marked ACB1. Also during this step, when you're busy doing this, be very, very careful to push the pins in, the, the, the head in 100% square. If you make a mistake there, you can bend one of the pins and then it won't read that cell. Now the second part, we're going to connect the one that's marked ACB2 and on the other side ACB2, that'll go into ACB2 there. Right, then you're going to use ACB3. It's marked ACB3 on both sides. And that must go into that port over there. Don't cross them over, so ACB3 will be that port over there. And 
Then lastly, we'll use cable ACB4, marked on both sides, ACB4, that goes into the fourth position. And that goes into that port over there, the very last port on battery one. That basically then sums up the comms cables. Okay, so this cable, the brown cable, is for the uh, B positive. What we normally do is just tape over the end that's going to go through the cabinet, just in case, you know, there's any contact and it can actually cause a short. So my assistant's just going to put it through the, uh, through the cabinet. And then you'll connect it as well. So that is your positive going to the load. The next step, uh, we will basically come off the battery monitor on the side from the P minus, that side there, of the ba battery mon uh, management system. And we're gonna basically connect from there and also take it through. You'll see that, that the negative is taped as well, just for safety. He's going to put it through there. Just a footnote, both of these are interconnected inside the BMS, so it doesn't really matter which one you put it on, you can put it on the top or the bottom either side, they are interconnected inside the BMS, that's done actually to share the load so that you can actually put two cables in of a thinner thickness to actually feed to the BMS. So now basically the system is complete and ready, the last step will be to actually connect the reference to actually enable the BMS to be powered up. Please bear in mind once again that there is 22 volts on the end of that, on the end of the cable. The BMS isn't inert, it's when it, we switch it on we will go up to 52 volts or whatever the voltage of the batteries are. Okay, so for this step what we basically want to do is we want to screw loose from there to basically loosen the two screws that are holding this, this connector here in. Once they're loosened, we can actually remove that part there, which we will then basically connect this brown positive reference cable into the top, tighten up the back screw. And now what we're going to do, um, my assistant will now connect it to the B minus. Now remember that the B plus here, you're basically going to, you're going to unscrew it again and you're going to then connect the two together again with this reference connected to there as well. Right, so that's basically it. And then the very last step, you would basically take this connector, always facing upwards like that, connect it in, you should start seeing lights flash from left to right. And you'll hear a beep, and that beep means that the system's enabled.